Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Clinton's Bog Ventures. Today, we are gonna check out this patch of spreading dogbane. We're gonna look for some pollinators, see what else is using this awesome, awesome native species right along the roadside here in the Saxon Bog. Let's check it out. So like I mentioned, this is spreading dogbane. Spreading dogbane is in its own family, uh, the dogbanes, uh, but it is sort of milkweed adjacent. Um, it attracts a lot of pollinators, it's a host for a lot of different native species. Uh, it also forms weird little pods, sort of like pea pods. There's a few forming right now. If we can find some, uh, we'll take a look at them. Um, but we'll just walk along here and just see what's going on because there's a lot of butterflies. There are a lot of bees, there are a lot of wasps. There's a lot of flower flies. Um, this is a really busy patch. Um, so let's just check it out. Let's walk a little bit, see what we can find, see what we can see, um, see what's pollinating today. So it's not super spectacular in the dark and the shade but Christina's keen eyes spotted a moth that a lot of people want to find and see, the hologram moth. If you see, it's right on that dogbane leaf. Hologram moths are loopers, and a lot of our loopers actually do feed as adults, which is fairly uncommon for a moth. What a cool species to find in this patch of dogbane. Sometimes pollinators come in the form of non-flying critters, or sometimes flying critters, like this really crazy flower longhorn beetle. One of the awesome little species you can find. We've been seeing a couple of cool moths today, but this is the first cooperative one of these. That is Virginia tenucha. It is a day flying and nectaring species of moth. Very commonly seen around flowering plants, goldenrods, yarrow, if you notice how it holds its wings when it perches, it holds them far differently, very different from a butterfly, flat out. Not up and together like our butterflies do. Cool little moth, another nice pollinator in our little stretch of dogbane. A not so uncommon species for us to find is hummingbird clearwing, Hemeris thysby. They're often frequenters of the dogbane patch. We've seen one species of hummingbird moth today so far, but this is our second common species. This is snowberry clearwing. You can see it's got sort of a black mask, dark legs, a little bit of a lobster tail look. We do actually have three species of hummingbird clearwing moth in the Saxon bog. This one, snowberry clearwing, as well as graceful clearwing and hummingbird clearwing. Graceful clearwing is pretty rare. Pollinators take all forms. We've got some bumblebees, like this male tricolored bumblebee pollinating. We've got a number of different flies doing some pollinating. There's some wasps and some leaf miner bees and some carter bees. It's important to remember the diversity of our pollinators. Just in bees alone, Minnesota has 400 species. So patches like this that are full of action might have five or six different species of bumblebee along with all of your butterfly species. We've seen some smaller worker tricolor bumblebees. But here is a big queen tricolor, one of our most common. If we look on the back, we can see the orange banding in the middle of the white, or yellow, I guess. And we also can see in between the thorax, you can get close on her, the black mark has a little bit of a teardrop down the middle. They often get confused for rusty patch bumblebee. For us in the Saxon Bog, there haven't ever been any records of Rusty Patch Bumblebee that we're aware of. But we do have red belted and brown belted and tricolored, all seemingly mimics, or at least similar looking to Rusty Patch Bumblebee. If they'll sit still, there's a really great comparison of Great Spangled and Aphrodite fritillaries, the large ones 
like this one here. It's great spangled with that really wide terminal border to the hind wing and then just up above it a little bit smaller and a little bit more slender terminal band in the hind wing is that Lannis Fridlary. Beautiful butterfly. One of a number of species we've seen so far today. Lots of our large fritillaries, lots of European skippers, but we've also started to see an influx of long dash and tawny edge skipper. Wow, these two being a little territorial. Hoping to find silver spotted today too. As we're watching these Atlantis fritillaries, hopefully we'll be able to highlight a behavior that you might not expect from butterflies and that is being territorial. So if we watch, we might get a pass made by a monarch or a great spangled for Larry that'll try to push these butterflies off of these particular dogbane flowers. There's been one monarch that's been really hounding these dogbanes. He'll make laps and passes and push butterflies away. But these are happily nectaring. Skipper territorial action here. A couple of long dash skippers getting chased by some tawny edge skippers, getting chased by European skippers. It's chaos over here. So there's not just pollinators in a stand of dogbane, but big beautiful orb weavers waiting to pounce from their hides and catch one of these butterflies. Part of a successful ecosystem and a successful patch of pollinators certainly are our friends, the goldenrod crab spider. This one has a European skipper for lunch. They're beautiful spiders, can change color from white to yellow. Beautiful, beautiful spiders to find when you're looking through your patch of dogbane. Sometimes in the patch of dogbane, you find a mate. These two meadow fritillaries have found each other in the dogbane patch, wandered their way to the sidelines here, and are bringing on the next generation of meadow fritillaries. A beautiful little butterfly. Our patience in the dog bane is pay paying off. We've been able to find a few cool butterflies, but one of our more uncommon species is just around the corner here. It's a really big skipper. There he is, silver spotted skipper. A wonderful butterfly and fairly rare this far north. They're getting more common. What a beautiful butterfly. We hope you enjoyed this little look into this stand of dogbane. Um, don't have to do it just in the bog, you can do it anywhere. Take a little time, slow down, walk along the roadside, and enjoy some of our native pollinators. And until next time, we'll see you in the bog.